All right. So hello, good uh, good day to you, uh to each and everyone. Um, today I will be sharing to you about Canva. Uh, what is Canva? What's the use of Canva? What's the purpose of Canva? And uh, what are the functions uh, of Canva? Right. So of course, let's know about that. So before we start, I just want to sh uh share to you that. Uh, Canva is uh, very useful nowadays, especially uh, in terms of editing, posting, right? So um, just want to let you know that Canva is an Australian graphic design platform. So uh, this uh, Canva is mostly used in uh, creating uh, social media graphics, uh, presentations, posters, documents, like if you want to make your resume, right, cover letter, you know, and other visual uh, content. So this is a web application or application, we could say application that includes templates uh, for users that, uh, for them to use uh, those templates. Uh, that depends kung ano yung uh, gusto nilang gawin. Uh, bakit sila nag-e-edit, diba? So today, let's try to um, open Canva. So, wait a moment. So, first things first, we will search Canva, right? Google.com and search for Canva, right? So, you can do that or you can also type here canva.com. Okay, so it's still the same, right? So uh, it will appear the same thing. So you need to have an account for you to design, right? So if you don't have an account, it's very easy. Yeah, so it's automatically assigning in because I have already an account. But let's just say if you still don't have an account. So let's try this. Let's try to sign up. Oh, I'm sorry, let's... Uh, I will sign out first. <laughs> Let's just say you don't have an account. Okay, and uh, yeah, so you have an options here whether you will pick, uh, uh, sign up with Google. Uh, let's say, okay, let's use this. Or sign up with an email. All right, or set. Uh, me, I'm using a Google because it would be easier for me to log in if I connect my Google here. All right, so you can also use Facebook. So it's up to you. Uh, where uh, what account you will use okay so you can pick anything there so i'm gonna log in mine so canva okay wait a moment logging in logging in So, uh, it is still logging in. Let's wait for a while. All right. So here it is. So I have I already signed in. Uh, I I have already signed in on my account. So you this is the th first thing that you can see, right? The um dashboard of canva home dashboard so you can see here uh design spotlight business education plan and pricing and learn okay so the first thing that will appear in your account is basic right uh, canva basic or canva free uh that means to say that all of the templates that you can see here uh you cannot use it still see, since uh, you're using basic or free but uh if you're availing there are plans here. This as this pro teams education not for not for profit. Then, um, those templates that have you know it it looks like this uh educate like uh you know graduation cap. 
So you can use them already if you purchase one of their plants, right? So if you're using free, then uh, what what you can use are those free versions only uh, templates, okay? So you cannot use most or not all of the templates given here. So aside from that, uh, okay, I will I will let you try it so that you will have an idea how much are uh, uh, what how much do you need to prepare for the payment if you want to uh, purchase this one of their plants, right? So for pro, let's go down. Uh, yeah, so we have Canva Free, which is the you know the basic you know, and this is the Canva Pro. This is two four ninety per year for one person only. But you know you can also um use uh other like teams or education, right? So you just need to have like uh like two or three, I think so. Let's check. Yeah, so here it is. Three nine ninety for the first five people. So you just need you just need to look for five people for so that you will divide it so it is cheaper than the pro, right? Same with education. So same with education. Yeah. Here, education. So teachers, school students, that depends. All right. So um are their pricing here. So yeah, you need to like um um get verified before you will know the price of the education uh plan for Canva. Right. So uh like we I will not dig deeper on that anymore. Okay. So anyway, uh our goal here is to learn and to know the purpose and the use of Canva, right? <laughs> yeah. So um we have a whiteboard, portfolio website, education presentation, education video. You know, we you can do a lot of things here in Canva, right? So it's so amazing. Um, you can uh, do logo making, right? Flying flyers, yeah, banner maker making, poster making, resume, invitation, business card, video intro. So it's not just pictures, but you can also do animations and videos, or you can import videos here to your poster or to your presentation. You know, so um, before most of us used Microsoft uh, PowerPoint to to make presentations, right? But today, um, um, if you just know about Canva, uh, most of us use already uh, Canva to make a presentation just like this, education presentation. So I'm going to open this one so that uh, you can see it. So there. Um, yeah. So we have a lot of templates for education, just like with, um, wait, let's look for an example. Um, which is nice. I think let's use this. Or you can apply all 16 pages or you can just pick one so that you can, you know, customize, you know. So today I'm showing to you the presentation side, all right? So I will show the others later on. So for the presentation side, this this would be your first slide, okay? So you can edit. So how will you edit it? So uh anyway, when we say template, it's the design, the text, the color is already be given, okay? But he, you know, here in Canva you can also cost you can also really make from scratch, you know, from from uh, zero, you know. So I will show that to you later on. But for today, uh, you can click each of this object here, you know, so you can maybe erase it or replace it with another picture. You know, I'll erase this one. Yeah, you can erase it, right? So, you know, you can uh, customize each of them. So for the text, so you can change the font style. You know, I have a lot of font styles here. You can change it like that. Or you can change with this. Uh, you need to highlight first, you know, highlight. When you say highlight, you need to do like this. Okay, highlight or change. Uh, you know, so it's changing. 
So let's say you mistake, uh, you have uh, changed it mistakenly. So you just uh, uh, click undo is one. Undo. So undo. So you can do like that. Okay. So you still have undo and redo here. <clears throat> okay. What do we mean by this cloud and check? You know, uh, Canva is a cloud-based um, platform. So every time you make changes, so it will be automatically saved. So that is good, right? So uh, you will not worry if your connection will get lost or if you have blackout or brand out. You will not be worried because it will be automatically saved. Okay. So that's the good thing of Canva. So if you don't have internet, then yeah, you cannot do can uh, editing here. So you need to have an internet connection for you to start editing with Canva. Okay. So now um, <clears throat> let's go with the next. So you can add page here for another slide. Let's say this one, Buhai. You know. So uh, let's talk about. Uh, so since I have shown you template, let's go with elements. So what's the purpose of elements? <clears throat> so these are objects, you know. So let's say you want to add picture here, okay? So you can um, pick frame. So why frame? Because, you know, if you're choosing, um, let's say, elements. Let's say you, should, you choose line and shapes, right? Because, you know, you can put square or circle, uh for your face right so yeah you can do that but if you just pick shape here put a shape here you know i'm doing click and drag all right so i hope you will not be confused you know you cannot put a picture here with the shape so if you want to put a picture you just need to pick uh, use the frame right so let's say circle this one so with this frame of course just like picture frame right so just like that so you can put a picture here so uh, you can use a picture from the canva right so just go in the photos or you can upload right so for you to pick let's just just i'm just I mean, let's say uh, let's use my photo so i'm uh, what i'm gonna do is click this photo and drag it and put it here so see, so uh, it was placed within the circle, all right. But you can, uh, if you want to, uh, okay. I will, I will pick another picture. Um, let's just say this picture. So since my face is not uh, shown here, so what you're gonna do is double click, double click this one, and drag to the right. So that and that. If that's okay now, then click done or you can just click anywhere here so you can see my face click again just like that so you can now adjust it adjust make it small or make it big okay so that's like that yeah uh, it looks like that right uh, that is also applicable let's go back to elements that is also applicable to wait oh that's... to other frames uh, we have a lot of frames here right just like this so it's also still applicable. So I, let's say let's go to photos. Then I'm gonna pick this. So it's still applicable, right? So there's just the same. Let's just say you want to um you want to duplicate this object. Just click this plus sign. This is duplicate. So you have another one. Okay. So if you want to delete this one, delete. Or so if you're using a frame, so you have two options: delete image or delete frame. So if you delete frame everything will be deleted all right on that object so again uh for this one we have colors that you can pick all right uh you can pick here let's just say this one this one so yeah, i i will i will pick an object uh, object instead since this frame you cannot appreciate this color because of the picture here right <laughs> so let's pick an uh, uh, shape, 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 shape. So line and shapes. Let's go here. Uh, let's say, say heart, say heart. So you can uh, pick color here. Uh, it, yeah. So you can pick. You can if you want to change this. You have a lot of 
options here, right? Like that, like that. So undo, undo. Yeah, undo. We are ready. Okay, and let's go back here. So for the color, you can click this one. This is for the color of the shape or object. Then you can pick colors here. Okay, like that. So if you have a text here, let's just say hi. And since black is not, you know, you cannot see it clearly, so you need to change color. You need to change the color of the text. So you highlight the high and click this A with color. Yeah, this one is text color. Okay. So pick color what's best suit for it. Uh huh. Not still no. Like that, something like that. So if you want to change the font size, just click this plus sign or just click here in the middle for you to pick here. So if you want to, yeah, that's it. I think that's this is better, right? So this is just an, an example, all right? I'm just showing to you the functions uh, that you can see here, the features that you can also use here in Canva, right? So this is for the presentation side, okay? So for let's go back here for upload. So... You know, you can upload um, images from your computer file. So, um, uh, let's say I'm going to upload a logo. So, after you upload it, so it, you can already use it. Okay, just like that. Dasik. Dasik Iksuun. Right? So this, this is a Bisaya uh, logo. So, uh, this is uh, uh, for our social media ministry in our church. All right. So anyway, uh, if you want to delete this image, since if you don't like it, you can just click these three dots here, or you can click this uh, trash here. So move to trash. So that is how you delete it. Okay. So I hope that's clear and uh, understandable. So for the text, so you can uh, pick any design or styles here. So these styles here is also customizable. So you can um, uh, pick any of them if you like their style and you can change their colors or your font style. You can do that. Okay. So uh, the heading, uh, this, is, uh, this is what you can see on the, you know, Title part, right? Subheading and the title, mostly the uh, description or biography, right? This is where you, what you, uh, what you need to use. Okay, so photos. I'm done with that. Photos. You know, this is searchable, so that depends. Let's say you are searching for a car. So yeah, so you can pick any cars here. Okay, then styles. Uh, yeah, styles is more on colors, okay, or uh, font, font styles, okay. Background, so let's say for this picture or for this uh, slide here, uh, what background would you like? So let's say you want landscape, you want this, just click it and drag. There, so your background has changed, okay, so just like that. Uh, yeah, that's for the background. Okay, for QR code, yeah, it's up to you if you want to put a QR code on your poster or resume or uh, what document or what uh, what uh, what poster you have done, right? So you don't forget to put your URL here and it will generate a QR code and then this QR code, you can download it and place it here in your Canva template, all right? So logos, so that depends what logo you're, let's say I'm using this one, Wise Millennials. So it will be automatically placed here, okay? Or you can upload your logo, click just click that, okay? What more? Uh, yeah, so you, you know, you can do a lot of things here, you know? Uh, I think uh, you will not, uh, you will not know the time already you have been consuming uh, while, uh, exploring canva because you know you will enjoy really and you can do a lot of things in canva uh make sure that you have a goal here why are you here in canva what's your point what's the purpose so let's say the purpose is you want to make a presentation then 
what's the theme or what's the purpose of your presentation. So you need to have like that for you to have a goal, you know, so that you have a direction because uh, without those things, then you will, you might get confused what to do, what, what you need, you know, what's the thing that you need to place here, you know, so you need to have a goal before starting up, you know, so that it will be not hard, it will not be, you know, difficult for you to design, you know, uh, here in Canva. So here, you can put your Google Drive, link YouTube, audio, you know, you can, you know, you can place audio while playing this presentation, you can do that. All right, so uh, I've been uh, I've done showing you this part here on the left side pane of the Canva portal. So let's go back home. Okay, let's go back home. All right, so what will you design? So you can pick anything here. All right, so whiteboard, presentation. So like this one, we have social media, videos. All right, and uh, uh, print products, you know, like flyers, invitation, you know, everything is here already, right? Website. So if you don't know how to code, uh, make website uh, from scratch, then you can just use from Canva. We have a lot of templates here uh, to use for uh, your websites in Canva, okay? So, uh, by the way, uh, I will be showing to you the, uh, yeah, there we have an, a lot of uh, templates here, infographic, photo collage, desktop wallpaper, graph. So everything is here already, right? I love this one, infographics. Especially that it's very detailed to see, right? <laughs> so yeah. So if you want to make from scratch, you just click this create design, right? Create design. And uh, Canva will be asking you uh, which one here. Okay. So... Is it whiteboard, educational presentation? Because these have, you know, they have already um, uh, specific sizes, you know. But if you don't want to use them, you have your own size that you want to use, then it's fine, you know. So we have here below custom size, edit photo, import file. So let's custom size. So that depends on what size you would, would you like. Uh, is it big enough? Or what's the, what's the purpose of that? Is it for Facebook post? or Twitter head, header or what, YouTube header. So that depends, right? So um, uh, you can use what is given here in Canva or you can make your own. But if you don't know the the size, you can search in Google. So the same with this. I'm best size and resolution for Facebook post. So uh, we have 1, 2 by 630 pixel. So uh, you can use that and paste it here. Okay, so width, this is uh, 1, 2, right? So 1, 2, this is width and height is 630. So if you want to, uh, it if you want it to look landscape, you know, landscape like rectangle, so that is this one. But if you want to do it portrait, so just uh, place this one here in the height, then the 630 will be placed here in the width, okay? So you can pick pixel, inches, millimeter, and centimeter. So you can pick, and then after, if this is already okay, then you can create new design. So this is portrait. All right, so like this, portrait. <laughs> so it's uh, blank. So it's really from scratch. But even though if it's white and from scratch, you can still import templates from Canva, right? So it's very easy to use. So like this, school schedule, once you click it, it will be automatically placed here on your uh, white uh, white uh, page, right? The blank page. Right, what's happening? Okay, I think, uh, yeah, there you are. So that's it. Uh, that's for the blank. So if you click it, it will change to another one, right? Uh, let's just say you want this uh, you want this uh, template, you want this design, and you want to add this one. So all you need to do is all you need to do is to add page first before you click it. Because if you click this one without this, right? So if if you click it, you, it will be changed, right? So 
if you want this and if you want this one also click add page first then add this one like that okay so it's we will be talking more on the feature the functions all right so that uh, once you start editing and designing you know what to do already right because once you have the goal already it will not be hard already to design all right so you have already the direction what to search what to place you know you have already a direction all right uh what other things that we have here in canva so uh, uh, aside from that uh yeah okay uh let's try to make a design you know i i have a lot of um um finished designs already so uh maybe we can have it now let's try oh i'm sorry so so that you can see your outputs and your designs just go here in the projects okay this is where you can see all your designs so this is my design so this is what we have done earlier right so untitled design so i'm gonna erase this one move to trash this one also right but by the way uh, once you click this one, you can rename it. So it will be changed. This will be changed, all right? So present full screen since this is a presentation. So it will be present as full screen, okay? Make a cut, make a copy so it will be duplicate, okay? Move to folder, what folder, right? So you can do that, right? So it's very nice. Download, so you can download it as a presentation or PDF and many more, okay? Then you can download afterwards. Then share, so you can share it with other people. Okay, so just you just need their email address. Then what more? Yeah, so that's it. And then I'm gonna erase this one also. So I have done here uh like ebook, uh, but it's it's still a poster or like a folder design. <laughs> Uh, because I have uh let, okay let's click that uh, I have composed a song for uh for one of the school uh here in my place so um uh, once I finish the the music musical sheet so I'm gonna place it here inside so this would be the cover page then this would be the you know back page and this uh these are the my my theme uh in making this song then um i will also place it here the musical sheet that i have make all right so this is one of the things that you can do right so you can change this i have i haven't changed it yet yeah so i'll i will change that later so i have what uh, what are the third thing what other things here so i have done this poster also for our church uh 50th anniversary but uh since we will church will be having like musical presentation or concert so uh, my design would be like musical concert also right so I what I did is um, okay uh, I will open another canva okay what I did is I just uh, search here um, uh, musical concert So uh, we have a lot of templates <laughs> for musical concert, right? But yeah, I yeah we will. It will take time for us to look for that design, you know, because uh, it is already in the down part. Yeah. So yeah, so I just search it and I use a template. And what I did is, uh, just you know, uh, the original, um. Uh, the original uh, what I uh, what I mean is the original uh, design is like that circle only circle and since it's the 50th anniversary of the church so I just add five here so how did I do that so I uh, just go to the text and go to the or you can pick here or you just go to heading and pick five and highlight the five and make it big so it's not big as this, right? So what I did is you just click or you just press Control Shift, then um, what is this? 
greater than sign on your laptop or your computer. Okay, so uh, it's best if you use computer or laptop in designing in Canva because you know you can also do the, this in phones or tablets, but it's quite difficult. You know, it's much easier and faster if you use laptops or computers in editing here in Canva. So yeah, Control Shift and uh, greater than. Okay, so like that. So just hold it and it will be big. Right, so just like that. And then um, I just, uh, I forgot what's the font. Oh, I use inter, interrupt. So I'm going to use it. Yeah, like that, right? So, and then just change the color. Since it's 50th anniversary, so it, it's golden anniversary, right? So it must be like gold or yellow color. Just like that. Okay, so that's what I did there. And then uh, I put uh, I put an image of the church. So what I did is uh, I upload the image of the church, and then I place it here. But before that, the picture of this church has a background, right? So what I did is what I did is let me see if I have an example here. Okay, I have an example. Okay, let's just let's use this. What I did is good thing here in Canva it has also a background remover. So make sure you click this image and edit image and background remover. So this white here will be removed. Let's wait. So it's yeah, it's not really removed. Everything is not removed. But the good thing here is in Canva you can erase the things that you really want to erase aside from the clouds and <laughs> the skies. So what you did is click erase. You can this brush size is uh, how uh yeah the size of the brush. <laughs> What do you want? Is it big or small? So you can erase it like that. So you can click show original image. So uh, it's not really good, right? <laughs> so yeah, that would be the output if yeah, this is erase. If you want to restore, just click restore, then it will be restored. Like that. All right, amazing. So you can so if you don't want it, then click cancel. Yeah, so that's what I did. Right. I'm sorry. So erase. This is what I did here in the picture of the church. Alright, uh, what more? Okay, this is already from the template, this one. Okay, the via the instruments, right? The music thing here. Alright, uh, what more? Circle. All right, this text. Yeah, I just use text. Um, yeah, this one the lines. So don't forget, you just go to elements for the shapes. All right, the lines and shape. This one. We have also graphics. If you want to put guitar like that, change color. Yellow like that. So it's up to you. What color would you like to put here? Okay. What more? Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you just need to learn how to know the font size, font style that you need to, you know, uh, do for you to place it here on your poster. All right, so what more? Um, yeah, this is for the poster. Let's have another project. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna close it. Huh, what's more here? Yeah, you can make also a logo here. Yeah, make a logo here. This one. Yeah, make a logo for my podcast. <laughs> Spotify. Yeah, it's not yet. It's already established, but I, I still have one episode. So yeah, I just... This is just a color. This is just a picture. You just search it here in the um, photos. Yeah. Then... The text. 
Amazon is text. It's like that. And you have already a logo. But if you don't have any idea how to make a logo, then don't forget we have a template. Then just search here. Uh, financial logo. Right. So you can see a lot of logos here. <laughs> so you can uh, copy or change it. Let's say this one. So you have a logo already. Just, you know, you can customize this one. Okay. So if you don't want the color there, you just change it. You can change it like that, right? So the black, you can change it to yellow. Yeah, it's not changing. So it's more on the blue one. Okay, but you know, that is how you change it, okay? Can I delete it? That's for the logo. Um, uh, have another one. Aside from that, um, what's this? Yeah, this is actually this is an Instagram story, but uh, I use it for our church services schedule. <laughs> yeah, so because I'm the one who manages our Facebook page and social media, so I'm also making this one for our church. So same thing, right? So once you have already this picture, it will not be easy. It will not be difficult already to place uh, here on your uh, templates, you know. So what I did on this design is uh, this one here and this one, this one, uh, it's already uh, in the template. So uh, what I what I did here is just I just place a text. This uh, picture of the church. This one has a text, so I just uh, change the text. This one, um, I just search a picture in the internet, like midweek service, and uh, this is a frame. You know, the, the the one that I did earlier, right? Uh, elements, frame, then circle. Then I put the midweek service picture here that becomes like this and resize, okay? So that is what I did here and what other things. Oh, this one, Facebook, YouTube. How did I do that? How did I do that? So just go to the photos, then search for Facebook logo or Facebook. You can choose here. But, uh, mm, Facebook. Uh, wait. Uh, wait, what's happening? Ah, oh, no, no, no. I know now. Uh, uh, for logos like this, uh, go to elements. Yeah, elements. Ah, uh, wait. Am I right? <laughs> I'm confused. Wait. Uh, let me try first. Let me try first. This book. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> so elements. Just go to elements. Search for Facebook. So you can see a lot of logos here. You go if you YouTube. Yeah, here it is, right? So TikTok. So like that. So you can place it here. Okay. This is that is what I did here. Yeah, this is just uh um text. Uh fun style, fun style, okay. So this one, I I wish I will demonstrate to you something here. So how did I did this one? Um uh, groupings. This is what they call groupings because this text and this text, you can move it together. So how how to do that? So for example, this one is not group. I'm sorry, Digo Central SD and this one Church Service Schedule is not being grouped. So if you want to group this, just click this one and this one, and then um, did I how did I do that? <laughs> I forget. Uh, wait. Wait. How did I do that? Forget. Wait. Uh huh. Ah, there. All right. Just right click. Click this one and click this one, and right click then group. Then see, you can move it together. All right. You can do like that. All right. Uh, that is for the groupings. Now, okay. Now for this text, if you want to make it. Uh, you know, uh, you have what if you want to have this effect like curve, just click this one, just click the text and pick curve, so like that. So you can customize it like that and like this. So that is what I did for 
wait oh uh, no i will show it i will uh i will look that for that later uh, i have done something in my pro uh templates or projects that the text i make it uh curve so just click this one and effects and curve yeah I, I will just look for that if i can find it so other thing other effects you can also use shadow uh, you can set here lift hello yeah so the, the text is changing right so it's nice so it's up to you uh it's up to your preferences all right so what would you like to do for your design okay so what other things here okay let's go to another project mm. uh, let, let me see what do i have here um yeah so quotes instagram quotes so for this one so this is a frame right so that's why i can put an image here this is a frame yeah i put uh, my qr code here okay so the, the thing that i have done earlier right qr code this one okay so this is the one then text yeah so you can also do quotes here all right so uh we have a template for this one also so that you will know the size you know the the difficult one is the starting and what makes it difficult on the starting one is the size right so you should know the size of your uh design or template okay so let's have another poster here yeah so i you can also do tarp design just like this All right tarp design so aside from the logo, you can also do tarp designs. So like this. This is a restaurant. Like that. So uh I have you know I have downloaded these images just right here. Photos. Let's search the like chicken. No. So a lot of chicken here, right? Also, this is the one. So we can do like and just paste it here, okay. And then this one is for elements, All right? You can put elements here. All right. So you know, I uh, we have a lot of things to do here in the Canva. You can do a lot of things here in Canva. So let just like this, uh, my resume. So for resume, you know, you know, you can do. Uh, other designs okay me this is my preference this, this is my preferred design so as you can see on the left side right so you can see a lot of templates for your resume okay so this one is a frame so that's why i can place the image here so this is just a shape you know so let's uh, let's uh, uh, let's have another feature for this one um um for example this one uh if you want to place it here on the front just right click this shape and click bring to front or bring forward or bring to front okay, like that but you know my face is being covered so it's a no same with forward yeah yeah front is every uh it would be the top part you know toppest part <laughs> the most top but um the forward is next it's just a lot it's just like a ladder next next layer okay that's the meaning of the forward these are all text so you can you know this is for the resume but it's also useful especially if your client is looking for a um, resume like this okay what other things i like i like this one also uh let's say you want to post a bible verse yeah in you in the phone so you can you can use this one yeah, just uh you have a lot of templates for that anyway so all you need to do is just to uh edit the text just like that right now so uh yeah just like that so uh let's have another feature for canva let's have uh saving uh okay let's have animation before we go to the saving animation um just click the text 
So you can put animation for the image, for the element, or the text. Okay? So it's up to your preferences. So let's say reminder. Let's put an effect. Uh, no, animate, animation. Effect, this is uh, what we have done earlier, right? So let's go with animate since we have been. Um, uh, try it. So we can use basics, writing, exaggerate. So let's try each of them. So for rice, it looks like that. Pan, fade. So you can pick both, enter, exit. Okay, so we have pop. Uh, you know, pop, I like, I like the pop. Uh, for text, mostly I'm using block or I'm using the, the other, where's the other one? I'm using the typewriter. Yeah, it's nice, right? So it's up to your preferences. It's up to you. So undo, undo, undo. So I'm going, uh, I want to make it uh, from the original. <laughs> okay, so that's for the animation for, let's, yeah, I will look for another template for uh, another design. Um, show more. Uh, wait. Yeah, so this one. This is for the Facebook cover. So if you're making a Facebook page, so um, it will um, uh, this will be your Facebook cover. Uh, the size this would be the this template for the Facebook cover. If you want uh, if you're ha if you have a Facebook page, of course there's a Facebook cover, right? So uh, you can also do that here in Canva. Okay. Uh, Uh, wait, I forget where is the template. Wait. Hmm. I think this one. Uh, but Gonna try this. I think I make a uh, animation for this. Yeah, I make an animation. It's an animation. So for this one, let's try to play it first. Oh yeah, it looks like that. <laughs> so there's a moving object here below and here. So how did I do that? So for this poster, um, uh, you can do animation for as a whole, or you can make an animation for each of the text or object that we have here. Okay, so it's up to you, right? Uh, here I am doing it one by one. So for this one, I, yeah, so there's a uh, animation for each of these texts. Yeah, shift, shift. So that is what happened. This one, this is drift. So you can see it looks like that, right? So it's, that's drift. So you have directions like that. Um, what other do? Yeah, so that is for animation, okay? So two things for animation, you can do as a whole, or you can do it per text, per object, or per picture. It's up to you, okay? Because uh, what do I mean by uh, as a whole? So you don't click anything here, just go directly to animate. This is for as a whole, okay? So what will happen? So let's pick one here. Uh, let's pick corporate. Corporate looks like that. So, yeah. And uh, if you don't like this one, you can change it uh, manually. So, tech, let's say tectonic. 
So yeah, it looks like that. Okay. All right. So uh, that's for the poster with animations. Uh, before that, we have timing here. What's the purpose of this? So you will, uh, you will know how long the animation will work. All right. So I'm just picking five seconds. Okay, so that's why it's just five seconds. Like that. Four, five. Okay. So if you do posters, if you want to do animations, you can just set animate animations here and you can set timing. What timing would you like? How long it is. Okay. So for your poster, if um uh, if you want to place a music here while playing this well uh while um uh while well seeing this animation that we have done you can add audio okay so i'm just giving i'm just uh uh showing here an example let's say the music will be um so if you're not sure how this music or sound sounds like you can click you can click this play button So I think this is okay. So uh, I'm gonna you can click here or you can click these three dots and yeah, you just click this one anyway. Alright, so you can see it here. So that means to say once you play it. So that is how it uh works, okay? So if you don't like it, you can click that and delete. Right, but by the way, before before we delete it, you can see audio effects here, right? So that means to say, since since our poster we just set the timing for five seconds, so that's why the audio is just for five seconds also. So if you don't like this part, you want it in the middle part or the you know here this part, you can do that. <laughs> to play it like that okay so you have the freedom all right so it's very nice right you have the freedom to do whatever you want for your poster for your designs and etc okay so i'm gonna delete it that's for the music so as you can see uh, some of my poster i have uh there's a sound right so that's what i do Okay, if you just want to put an audio, but if you don't want to, it's fine to have no audio on your poster. Yeah, no problem with that. Okay, uh, audio, what more? Animation, timing, what more? Uh -huh. Okay, let's just say you want to print it, this poster, so you can click print posters. This is how it looks like. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, but uh, I'm not advising this print poster because you need to pay. <laughs> you need to pay. So I think it's better for you to download, to just download it and print it afterwards. So for downloading, uh, if you want to download this uh, template, just click share and we have here download. Okay. Since uh, we place animations here on this template, or if you put a sound, then uh, the suggested would be MP4, so that you would your animation here will be appreciated. You know, they can see the the animation placed. But you know, you can still pick JPEG or PNG if you just want it as a picture. Okay, PDF. So. Or GIF. For GIF, uh, you can see the animation still, but there is no sound. Right? There's a short clip, no sound. Okay. So for picture, JPEG, then uh, just pick what size. I think that size. Don't. I think it's better not to change it anymore. Right. So for quality, you can change it if you want to change it. Okay. So that is for download. Click download, and it will be downloaded already. 
that is for the download so what more what you need to uh know more about canva um yeah so this is what we can do in canva uh poster resume invitation um hmm, so far so the business card yeah i'm just picking randomly because you know we have a lot of templates here and uh, uh i know for sure you can um uh search it or you can explore it by your own okay so um uh, just make time to explore it okay so this is our these are the templates so which is customizable or editable uh each text its picture its objects elements and you can change their colors also so that's how amazing it is right so yeah business card what more um invitation maker right so here so we have a lot of templates right so that depends on what event so graduation uh what's this i think this is uh dinner with 16 christmas when i was party so that depends on what event that you are making okay why why are you making that poster what's the event you need to have an event and of course details so that you can place something on your post on your template okay so i think that's it um if you have some concerns or some uh things that you want to learn more just don't hesitate to uh, tell me, okay? So I think that's it. Ah, uh, yeah, before I forget, there are some more here, like website. Uh, so for website, yeah, I, yeah, I forget to show to you the li uh, how to place the links. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you an example here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so for website, uh, let's say... Okay, for portfolio website, this is very useful when in terms of you're applying for a job, uh, like freelancing or you are showcasing your skills. So this portfolio website is very useful, yeah, because uh, employers don't want resume anymore, you know, so they just prefer portfolio, especially this portfolio website, so they can see how creative you are. Event website, you know, what event. So you can place everything here needed that uh, guests need to know. Retail website, so if you're selling something by a link, so links, uh, like your social media or what. Service website, so you can offer your services here on this website. So let's say by a link website. So it's, I think it's black, blank. Oh yeah, it's blank. So with that, you can just place and choose any templates here. These templates, layouts. So this layout, uh, this is, you can really say it's just purely template. Uh, there's no color, there's no picture. So you will be the one to put it manually. But the template here, there uh, we have already sample pictures, colors, text here. So yeah. So that's the difference between templates and layout. Okay, uh, for example, I'm gonna use layout uh, that uh, and um, hmm. uh, let's think. I'm think. I think I need to use this. Let's let's for let's just for example. And since we have don't have background, let's pick a background here. Um, let's say. Uh, let's say, uh, hmm. uh, let's say, uh, you love nature. <laughs> I don't have anything on my mind. Um, nature, nature, I think this one. changing what's happening 
Okay, what's wrong? Oh, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just delete those, that and then this is that the picture. I, I, I want to change it uh, about this. Let's say this one and let's, let's change the color, make it bright. Let's say um, uh, best water adventure world. <laughs> it's just an example, okay? So how to place something here? Uh, let's search the Google. I need I need backup. <laughs> I need backup. Um, best water adventure world. So let's use this. Kayaking. Okay. Um, I need. To uh, go to an to another Google website. So let's say kayaking is the first one, right? Kayaking. Because we need a link. Let's say you don't know what is kayaking or how to kayak. Yeah. Um. What's the best thing? I I think this would be interesting. Kayaking in Antarctica. Okay. Uh, okay, kayaking. Like that. Yeah. And then um right right click this one and put link. I click the link. Yeah. Now um enter a link or search. Um let's try to copy the link. This one. And enter. I paste it and enter. Kayaking in Antarctica. Okay, let's test it first. Preview. Click the preview to try it first. Testing. So once I click this one, it will happen. Okay, it's not working, so we need to fix it. Um, okay, what's wrong? Okay. Yeah, it's working here. Uh, why is it not working? Let me try to publish. Oh, there you are. But the problem is, uh, kayaking is the only thing that is being highlighted. So you cannot click in Antarctica. I think one word is better uh, for you to place here so that uh, you can really click the whole the whole word. <laughs> anyway, uh, when we say website, you need a domain. When we say domain, you know, it's just like um, uh, it's like address, you know. So if you have a friend and you want to visit your friend and the question is how will you visit your friend do you know where he or she lives so make sure you know his or her address right same with our website so this domain is your address so you will know where to go because of the domain because of the address okay so that's the meaning of domain so since we don't have domain because we don't have <laughs> domain, we will just use free domain. So free domain it has Canva that you know Canva that something. So let's continue. Let's let's say this is the, the website. And when we click continue, 
you need to choose your subdomain. So subdomain is uh, the first thing that you can see on the website. So let's say uh, water adventure that my canva so this this my canva that site this is domain this is the subdomain but they are all domain because uh because of this you will know where to go if you want to look for the best ad water adventure in the world okay so let's just say that this is my subdomain continue so that's it so it will appear here on the browser best water adventure in the world. So it's nice uh to have this one also. Right? Uh if you want to make a website here. So you can just do like this. Okay? So I will not publish it. Uh I'm just doing this for presentation. So you can purchase a new domain or you can use your existing domain if you have. Okay? For if you want to purchase a new domain uh, I think there, there. I think there's a pricing here. Let's say, um, uh, wateradventure.com. Yeah, there. So, oh no, we have no dot com. So we have dot net, dot org, dot info. So these are the pricing. One one four nine per year. Okay. So if you don't want my Canva that site because you know it's not so nice to see your website has like that, so you will pay, right? You can purchase a domain. This is per year, okay? So that's the meaning of the domain, and this is the website, okay? So for the other thing here, same thing, all right? Just if you have the text here, just click this and put a link. And you can uh, put a, the link here of the website, okay? Or uh, if you want to, let's say, um, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Philips Resume. So, <laughs> it's the same, okay? So, it will be redirected to Philips Resume if you uh, place the link, if you place this link here, okay? Done. So let's try to preview what will happen. I uh let's see if it works. Okay, let's try it. Oh, it's not working. Or maybe it's not yet done. Wait. I will try to publish so that we can really test it out. There. <laughs> so it will be redirected to the Canva template of Philips Resume. Okay. So you can uh, do that or you can just put a link. Okay. So it's up to you. Uh, what is your preference? Where is that? Uh, there. Okay. So let's go back. All right. So that's for the website. Uh, what other things here? So you can do a lot of things, right? Uh, I will not just um open everything, okay? Just make time to explore each of this. So TikTok video, Instagram reel, so YouTube intro. So this is for the social media, and uh, that is also animated and it has a video. Same with this, okay? So what other things here? Um. Yeah, infographics. This is quite. Um, uh, yeah, you need more time to do this because it has a lot of text and shapes or images that you need to put. Unless the picture or shape or um, the elements placed there is what you need, also, then that's fine. So it's really up to you. So we have desktop wallpapers, graphs. So it's very useful in um, uh, presentations, book covers. Yeah, I also do book covers, especially if you're a writer, right? So if you're or if you're a, a poet, uh, making poets or poems. So if you want to publish it, you know, uh, it's better if you have a book cover and place all your 
you know, compositions there. <laughs> All right. So, you know, you can do a lot of things in Canva. Right. So, just expand your um uh, uh skills and uh broaden your um uh curiosity <laughs> with this uh features of Canva. All right. So, I think that's it. Uh yeah, so just make time to explore each of these um templates here. Okay? So, Thank you so much. Have a great day and enjoy uh, editing. Uh, enjoy editing with Canva. <laughs> Thank you.